Shostakovich is important as a witness of time, as an artistic witness of history. The Soviet Union both recovering from the war, but also looking at giving itself an identity, looked for ways to separate itself from the Western part of the world. Shostakovich had just completed his opera, Lady Macbeth, which is highly uh, uh, abstract and full of dissonances and modernism and avant-garde, and this was highly criticized. There was always a suitcase, small suitcase, by the door that he took with him wherever he went. It wasn't a question of being taken away to go, uh, to, go to prison. It was a question of when. Dmitry Shostakovich writes this concerto in the middle of this personal crisis. The second interval, it's a tritone in the violin part. So immediately he goes into the place of where we don't agree harmonically quite a hundred percent. The harmonies are actually both trying to be less avant-garde, but at the same time, the violin is always against the orchestra. The violin always has its own voice. And I think the violin really does represent Shostakovich. It represents Shostakovich in a way that he always spoke against the society. He always spoke against the massive uh, flow of one idea. The concerto continues with the second movement, which is uh, an outburst of uh, energy. It's demonic. Then we arrive at the midpoint of the concerto, which is the most wonderful Pasacaglia. The violin doesn't have enough power to cover the orchestra, but somehow it must get through. This leads into a cadenza. And by the time you arrive at pipa, 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 where you start to also quote Shostakovich's own name. And you start to have this DNA, this D S C H. Art is really life. Art really represents who we are. As we develop and we go into the burlesque, so fast and so uh, uncontrollable that it leads to absolute chaos. It becomes a little bit uh, schizophrenic and it becomes a little scary. And I think this is a direct representation of how it felt to be Shostakovich. This idea that he brings us back in time into his own place, where we see the world through those beautiful, big, thick glasses of his, where we look at the world and we try to understand the darkness that we as human beings are capable of, but at what cost? And he brings always this question, what do we do? What do we do? He brought this over and over in his symphonies and said, is this really 
who we are. Can't we be better than this? And it's so important, especially today, to look at the music of Dmitry Shostakovich and to understand the essence behind it. Thank you.